Uh, a lot of what I expected. Um, and I was really pleased with our board effort. You know, that's a big team, physical team. And I thought our guys really focused on, on that really well. Um, the turnovers, obviously, you know, the first half led to 11 points. And then for the game, 18. We usually win that battle, you know, when we're playing good. We just had guys, you know, going behind their back and turning it over for layups and that. So uh, our freshmen played like freshmen. Those three guys are just a lot better than that. Uh, and we're going to need them. Uh, but CJ, Chandler, Addison were just, they played like freshmen tonight. They were a little nervous, straight up and down. I uh, didn't think they played very hard. So, uh, but they had to get their feet wet sometime. And, uh, uh, you know, a lot of times you're playing against a team that's not very good, but these guys won 23 games last year. Uh, they've won over 24 in a year in a row, four years in a row. So I knew we'd have our hands full. I knew we'd uh, see an athletic team. And and so I'm very pleased that we found a way to win. You know, I really disappointed we gave them those threes. You know, we had complete control of the game. And then we just, we made four defensive mistakes and just, and they hit four threes there just, and that was as much us as anything. We just stepped off their shooters, didn't run them off the line. Uh, and, and you can't make those mistakes. Uh, we let them back in the ball game just with some bad defensive mistakes. Can that be a, a good teaching point though? Well, I hope so. Yeah, <laughs> I hope so. You know, I hope that, you know, that uh, the group will watch the film on Thursday and, and uh, say, man, I, you know, that rotation was bad there, and, and we got a lead, and some bad turnovers. Um, so, yeah, I, I, I hope so. You mentioned the team, Nick. This is a better three-point shooting team than you saw on the court in the night one for thirteen. Well, we didn't we didn't uh, do a very good job there, did we? Uh, you know, I thought we had some good looks. You know, just uh, and, but you know, like I said, uh, every game's different. Um, I know I want to take more threes than that, um, and, and obviously we're going to have to shoot it better. You know, if we do take more than that, but uh, you know, I know Anthony can shoot him. I know Peyton can shoot him. Um, you know, I, I know Chris can shoot him. I know Will can shoot him. I know Addison can shoot him. We got those five perimeter players; they can all shoot him. And I think Shakur will hit some. I think CJ will hit some. Chandler's been working on it. Uh, you know, Franco. I think he can be successful from the pinch post from 15 and in. But he, but other than that, I think the other eight guys at some point in time will hit three. Is any of that to be? Oh, I don't. I don't think it was tonight. I think just just didn't shoot it very well. You know. What do you think, Ben? Of sixty points, particularly in points in the paint, and free throws. Well, I thought we we got. You know, they were icing our ball screens. You know, and trying to force it. I thought we did a nice job, Will and Peyton, of of getting in there and creating some things. Um, you know, I thought we did a good job of of getting fouled at times. You know, going to the rim. So I like that. I, you know, I. I want to shoot free throws. That's, that's always important. Uh, I don't think Peyton will miss four. You know, I, I think uh, we had a chance to, to really have a big night at the line. Uh, some good free throw shooters didn't shoot them quite well enough. But, uh, uh, you know, 27 free throws, I'd like to see that. Is this, is this, a, is this the rotation that you kind of want to see? Oh, I, or are you toying I have no or? idea. We have no idea. I mean, it just, we started the vets. You know, uh, nothing's been decided in the five weeks of practice. Um, and it'll be different Saturday night. You know, it'll be different next Tuesday. But we'll be messing around with, with lineups. As long as guys practice hard, you know, everybody's going to get a rotation chance. Uh, but, you know, the freshmen need to come back Thursday and really bust it. And uh, all, all of them do. You know, it, we got a really tough November, you know, and. Uh, this was a good start for us. We had to compete. Uh, Boise was picked ahead of Fresno, so we'll have a better game, you know, Saturday night. Second coach meeting between Anthony and Dave and I think back to high school, and it seemed like that sort of flashed a little bit. Since well, they got a couple of transition buckets, I thought, between them, you know, passing it back and forth to each other. And, you know, Peyton did make a nice three for Anthony. He didn't hit it. But, uh, no, I, you know, I, I think there's – some chemistry there that you know they play together a lot, uh, so you know that can't hurt. You know, open new game with all these new people. Is that what you needed out of Peyton and out of the team? Well, you know, I thought Franco uh, Francis, you know, really did a good job. You know, so the two vets uh, that started, 
Uh, Will was a little tentative tonight, I thought. I, you know, he's been practicing his tail off. I thought he was a little tentative tonight, but, um, you know, you expect that from the two guys who've been here, you know, and, and uh, you know, know our coaching staff, know that we're going to bark at him a little bit, try to get him to play hard. So, you know, you, you want those experienced guys to, to kind of take the, the forefront. I think Shakur is going to get better and Anthony's going to get better. They, if they're experienced, Chris is experienced. You know, so we, we do have some experience. Uh, guys that have played college ball, they just haven't played here, you know. So uh, it, it's going to take some time, you know. With you can't have three guys back and try to add six new guys, and we're going to take some time with Luke, you know, and just see how it progresses. I'd like to redshirt him because I think he's got tremendous upside, and his strength and ball handling uh, are behind right now. Um, but he needs to continue to prepare because if somebody goes down or we get some more injuries or something, he may have to play. But we'd like to be able to, you know, to redshirt him because, you know, he says he wants to be here. He says he wants to be here for the long haul. And, and uh, you know, it's just nice to hear somebody say that, you know, and it, uh, you know it, that I'm not going to drive him away after a year. So, um, but, you know, I, I think he's got tremendous upside. You know, so I'm kind of excited about him. And you know, like I said, the freshmen have been practicing much better than what they showed tonight. They're better players than that. They just they were all tentative tonight, and uh, they'll they'll pick it up. What did you see in that late first half run, and then second half? I think you outscored them ten to two. Well, I, you know, I thought our defense to start second half was really good. I thought we were flying around and and uh, really contesting their shots, uh, only giving them one. So, you know, I really was encouraged by the start of the second half. And I'm looking here, we, you know, we get up 21 with 11 minutes to go and it was 20 right around there. And then, you know, we just give up those threes and then at the seven minute mark, it's a 12 point game, um, you know, and just good teams don't do that. You know, they, um, they, they don't allow that to happen. And uh, so again, hopefully they'll see the film and, see you know the mistakes that we made defensively to let them back in the ball game and and we'll get better at it you know we weren't scoring at the time our ball movement kind of got you know stagnant and and you know had a couple bad turnovers you know so uh, just didn't score very well there what do you think of Duarte's willingness to go rebound with, with seven well we we needed him to like him and Peyton getting seven I mean we need our guards to rebound you know we're, we're not a big team you know, we're not a big team, so uh, we, we need our guards to rebound. You know, and, and Chris is a big guard. Addy's a big guard. Uh, you know, CJ's a really good rebounder. Chandler, you know, so, I mean, we got guys. Uh, but they're all going to have to be rebounders, you know. But I thought Francis set a great tone, you know, going to the boards early. I thought he set the tone. We were up at half on the boards, you know, and I thought Francis set the whole tone. And uh, so... You know, I, I thought he did a very good job. Double double, ten points, ten boards. Um, and I thought he played really good. Is that just like a finger that he picked up, or you know, he's still? You know, they're still they're doing tests on it, so you know, we'll just see, you know, how it feels, how it progresses, and uh, see what what the doctor says. But he had that little harness on to, you know, to try to give him support there, and uh, but it didn't stop him. He was the first guy who dove on loose ball. I didn't notice that. He got after two of them. You know, we had a bunch of guys standing reaching. You know, Franco, he went down and got him. So uh, he set a great tone there. You know, he showed our new guys, you know, if we're going to win some basketball games, we're going to have to play a hell of a lot harder than we did tonight. You know, our, our guys don't understand how hard we're going to have to play. You know, we just, we're not that big. Uh, you know, our, all our freshmen are skinny. You know, we, we're going to have to play really hard. And, and uh, I don't think they believe me. You know, I... We, we, we're going to have to play really hard, and Franco understands that. I thought he played really hard tonight. So were you sometimes as a, as a coach seeing a guy who's playing that hard and you're still kind of waiting on the college because he's not a, he's not a depth behind him there? You want him to play hard, but you also don't want him to get hurt? So oh, you know, I, I just don't think you can approach the game like that. You know, if you're going to play, you got to play. You know, and uh, it would have been nice if we would kept the big lead and I wouldn't have had to play him down the stretch. But, uh, you know, we needed to find a way to the win. And, and at tonight, he was the best option, you know. Um, you know, the game changes every night. Sometimes you, sometimes me, always us. 
you're not going to play 31 good games. So, like I said, we got to get those freshmen going, and uh, when we do, we can have a you know a nice nine man rotation there. Do one more game than anybody else here. Well, it, uh, you know, really makes me appreciate all the players that have been here. Uh, my coaching staff, Tony Stubb, has done an unbelievable job. Uh, Josh Jamison's been here the whole nine years. Kevin, uh, Mike joined us when Coach Fish left. Uh, that The consistency of the staff, I think, means something. Um, you know, we've had great support. Uh, so, yeah, it means something. Um, you know, uh, you know, I've, I've been fortunate. I had a great 16-year run at Creighton, and uh, you know, I love that school. And spent nine years here, and the people have been great. And we love it here. So, uh, you know, you consider yourself fortunate. I mean, I've had really good guys to work with. Our players, you know, and this is a good group too. You know, um, you know, there's got to be some connection, and you got to put up with each other. You know, and, and uh, this is going to be a really good group. They're, like I said, they need to play harder and, you know, they need to focus on what we need to do to win as a team. But they're a good group of guys, and, and I think we can have a lot of fun if, if, if they want to. Dana Anthony said that he thinks the strength of your team is probably in your defense. Do you, do you agree with that? Is that your, your, I mean, well, I, you know, it, it's too early to tell. Um, you know, because we've we got to grow so much as a defense, you know, and, and without that rim protector that we've usually had, uh, you know, and I, like I said, I was really disappointed those four threes we gave up. I mean, just no contest, you know, not running anybody off the line. Uh, so, you know, I think we can be a good defensive team, uh, but we're going to have to we're going to have to be a much better offensive team than we were a year ago. Um, you know, and I, I think the boards will always be, you know, a big factor every night. You, You'll be able to look at the boards, and you know if we're a minus on the boards, we're going to be in trouble. You know, because defensively, if people are getting offensive rebounds on us, we're going to be in trouble. And if, if we're not getting a few offensive rebounds, I think we're going to be in trouble. So I think the rebounding will be kind of dictate how our season goes.